Institute in Lebanon. And uh, that's the prohibition of uh, ice cream trading in certain streets. And uh, we've received two deputations, uh, one from Vincent Jonas and one from Pam White. Um, I'll take them in that order, but can I just remind deputies that um, uh, we won't be talking about individual traders, uh, so just restrict your comments to the issues, please. Okay, okay. so each deputation is five minutes long. Um, I'll remind you at, at four minutes thirty that you, so that you can wrap up. My name is Vince Jones. I'll keep on very briefly as I understand that you have a copy to the members of what I've presented, so it's not to waste time. And in the extra time, I'd like to donate to uh, this lovely lady to my left. Uh, briefly, I would have to say that there's uh, been an uh, escalation of uh, obvious uh, uh, physical threats, um, intimidation, flouting of uh, common sense, not to mention statutory uh, laws regarding uh, safe parking. Um, it's, uh, it's difficult to put into sh a few words, and uh, I'm not a very good speaker. I like writing, but I'm not a good speaker. So um, uh, what process the members go through to make a judgment on whether prohibition should be taken or not taken uh, well above my understanding at this point. I wanted to say as a citizen, 25 years in, the, uh, in Camden, uh, I'm an artist. Uh, I um, usually keep a very low profile, but my, my work is often seen publicly and on television programs, etc. But what is to be done when two lovely people from Primrose Hill, young couple, wanted to start an ice cream van uh, selling, not a van, one of those three-wheel carts, I think they're about 23, 24 years of old age, looking as entrepreneurs to go into the business, unaware that there's been a turf war raging in our community between itinerant ice cream van uh, traders to the extent that there was a physical confrontation, someone who was injured in Primrose Hill, and this young couple were physically threatened with assault and physical assault, uh, intimidation to be physically assaulted if they persisted to get themselves licensed to sell ice cream from this little three-wheel cart. Um, what more can I say than what you've had before you, what I've written? I won't go any further. I, I think what I've written is enough. And I'll turn my time over to this young lady here. OK. Thank you. Thank you very much for your brief deputation. Um, so we'll move on to Ms. White. Um, you have five minutes. Yeah, thank you. Um, I must apologize. I wasn't aware that I allowed to refer to specific traders um, because the problem I want to talk about is that we suffer the, a problem of one trader. Um, I'll try and skip over the individual bits, specific bits about him. I'm Vice Chair of Primrose Hill Conservation Area Advisory Committee and I'm a resident of Princess Road, having lived opposite Primrose Hill Primary School for 32 years. And I'm speaking particularly about the prohibition of itinerant ice cream trading in Gloucester Avenue, which is on part of this agenda. And this school is about 50 metres away from Leicester Avenue. For as long as I can remember, and certainly for many years, I've seen ice cream vans arrive at the school at about 3.20 and leave at about 3.50 on every school day. And the traders have parked outside the school and they've been moved on, and then Princess Road became a prohibited street and they moved on. And they park illegally all the time on yellow lines, single yellow lines, double yellow lines, on the entry treatment at the end of the road. Um, occasionally a pay and display bay, but always half in and half out, the parking is appalling. Um, so the traders park illegally, habitually. They stick out into the traffic lanes in the road, they cause obstruction, but more dangerously, they require children to walk into the road to buy ice creams, as well as also involving children and their parents crossing the road without a clear view of the other oncoming traffic. I mean, it really has been ac an accident waiting to happen. I think we're very lucky that one hasn't. It is mayhem and chaos for 20 minutes every, every weekday afternoon outside the school. 
An additional point is that the ice cream trailer vans need to be removed from the vicinity of the school because all the time they're present in our streets, their engines are idling and pushing out pollution all over the area and particularly over the small children, the customers. Um, we also have a news agent on the corner of Princess Road and Chalcott Road, our local news agent, Mr. Patel, of Premier's News. He can hardly manage to survive with less business and local residents value his business and, and we aim to protect him. He's losing business to this item and ice cream trader. The school, in addition, fully supports local residents and the committee's initiative to add Gloucester Avenue to the prohibited streets list. You have a letter of support in your pack, a uh, letter of support of this intention, the intention of this point on the agenda, from the school administrator, Rita Brassington. Camden already have a prohibition on such traders parking in Princess Road to protect the school children and ice cream traders now park in Gloucester Avenue, which is not yet protected. And now that Camden's licensing committee is being asked to add Gloucester Avenue to the prohibited streets list, there is a chance to remove this van from our streets and, and other vans, all of them. Camden also needs to have the power to remove the traders. We suspect the traders will continue to trade in our streets tomorrow if you pass this prohibition tonight. Therefore, we also support the intention under item 12 of tonight's agenda to permit quick and effective enforcement in respect of street trading offence. And I would ask you to pass that item as well, to vote for it. In summary, please register my committee's objection to ice cream van traders' presence in our streets on a daily basis and add Gloucester Avenue to the prohibited streets listing. Thank you very much both. Um, thanks for attending and addressing us this evening. Um, you're welcome to, uh, yeah, yeah you, sorry. Um, I'm going to take up to 10 minutes of questions from members, this is questions for the deputies, and then we'll move on to the discussion and the debate. Um, Lazaro, I can see that you want to ask a question, so I'll let you answer, ask the first question. But unfortunately, as a non-member, can't really contribute to the debate. Okay. Okay. My, my question for both the deputies is about if you look at the list of all the places, many of them are close to schools or close to touristic attractions. And uh, you spoke very well, both of you, on the risk, the hazard of the, 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 the trading and uh, on the environmental issue. Do you also think there is an healthy issue about selling high streams outside schools? Yes, I certainly do. I personally think that if you want to buy ice cream, you should buy good quality ice cream. The ice cream they sell in these vans is very, very poor quality. In addition, it's full of sugar, and it's obviously very bad for children and their teeth and their dental health. I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that, but it's part of my opinion. Uh, I, I support what she just said. Also to point out that uh, I'm sorry, rather pedantic, and I've observed some of the uh, uh, EHO, uh, Food Safety uh, Agency, violations. If one just stands at the side and watches a van operator, pardon me, dig into his nose or cough, there's no facilities for washing the hands. So I've actually seen these individuals uh, take money or cough or do unhygienic things with their hands and then serve the customers. It's, it's not exactly something that you would want to do to your children. No problem, thank you. Um, Councillor Callahan. Mr. Chair, um, I'd like to ask Vincent um, Ham how long you've been on this trail of trying to get the um, itinerant ice cream vans off the street. It's difficult to be very precise, but I think actively about eight years. Yeah. I've only been about four years and initiated with, uh, I'm, as I said, I'm an artist, and I simply asked a trader to move his van away from the, what was called, you might have seen at the cyber market, so the customers could see what I had designed to attract people in. And rather than moving the van, I was assaulted, for which there was a conviction. But I won't go any further on that, but it's been four years. Sorry, just very quickly, Chair, to come, to come back to Pam. 
Um, you'll remember about two years ago we wanted to have a meeting and we went along and we think that the person had been warned because for the first day in many months he wasn't there. So, you know, there's a, a very sort of uh, dark area with, with all these traders, these itinerant traders as well. So, is that a question? Sorry. Yes, I remember that very clearly. It was most disappointing that we managed to get our two local councillors and the council officer there, and lo and behold, for the, the one day out of years, this trader in particular does not show. He must have been tipped off. A uh, question from Councillor Simpson. Um, one of the other things I've heard about, and it's not just a health-related issue, but it's the fact that the vehicles are parked, um, are often just obstructing pavements, and they park on the pavements, they have their engines running permanently, um, and the noise and disturbance to residents, which is particularly something we've heard from Holborn and Common Garden Ward, um, through councillors and Vincent and OLAD, is, is very, very high. And obviously there it's in the middle of a, a major area with people going to the British Museum and your area is people going and enjoying Primrose Hill. So the impact is, is quite tangible. Councillor Simpson, is this a question? It is. I'm just saying, if you, if, is that something that you'd, you'd agree with as in addition to the public health issues you've raised? Yes, I think so. I think that the street becomes much more difficult to, to use as a thoroughfare because this van is pumping out, I think they're diesels, so they're pumping out really nasty fumes. Um, and they're in the middle of the road too. I mean, they block the road. It, it's, it's easily perceived um, and, and dangerous to health, I think. And makes that nice little corner of Primrose Hill not so nice for 20 minutes a day. He's very punctual, he's very prompt. He scoops off the moment his school children customers have finished, about 20 to 4, quarter to 4. Thank you. Yeah. Sure, I'll respond as well. Uh, as a Primrose Hill resident, my son, is, and uh, I, we, we're there all the time, and what she's just expressed is absolutely true. On Camden High Street, up by the, uh, the canal, and the Regents Canal, you'll find that there, and the photos you may have seen that I've sent voluminously to you, of uh, vans parked half on the street, half on the pavement, just at the abutment, and vehicles, especially buses, literally have to go to the right half onto the pavement just to get past. Uh, uh, parking enforcement, police officers are asked to move them on, and basically because of loopholes in the law, they tell them to bugger off, pardon my French. Thank you. Um, question from Councillor Spinella, and Councillor Lewis, did you have your hand raised earlier? Uh, thank you, Chair, and uh, thank you for your deputation. Um, it seems to me there's a few, a couple of issues here that may be distinct. On one side, there's references that you made, for instance, uh, Vincent Tucker, to actual criminal behavior by um, some of these um, ice cream vans, and also what I guess, I guess we could call in the more broad terms antisocial behavior by the ice cream vendors at these vans. So is it a question that you would want, you would accept the continuance of these vans, perhaps not in front of the school, but the other places, like for instance around the British Museum, were those ice cream vans to behave according to a proper guideline of social behavior, of, uh, behavior or do you not want the ice, do you want the ice cream vans gone, period? Thank you. In particular, regarding our area, I don't want the ice cream van preying on the school children. It's pester power to their parents. Um, I don't think there's any need for it. If kids want to buy things after school, they go to the corner shop and, and it's actually probably better ice cream. We don't want him cluttering up our road. He's a very nasty specimen. There was a standoff with a council officer who came along to move him and he was in Gloucester Avenue at that point and he brandished in front of him this prohibited streets list and said, well, I'm not, I'm not allowed to park in Princess Road so I have to park here. And, and he got quite violent and there were two policemen there as well. It was a really nasty moment. He's apparently been, this particular vendor has been convicted of illegal trading in Westminster and he just moves on to where he can get by with it, get away with it. I think they should, I, we don't want to see him in our area at all and I think the letters that came in support that. Let's answer that. I concur with that as well. I'm not against ice cream vans per se. Uh, I think they are a viable business for people who want to make a living. However, the way in which they conduct themselves 
has expressed has been violent, uh, rude, disrespectful for us as a community. This is our community. And as I said in my, my deposition statement, I said to you, uh, health issues, I won't be here that long. So this is for you and your families I've been left behind. It's, it's insane to allow this type of behavior. It just really is. Uh, Councillor Lewis. I thank you all very much for coming and for saying what you said. Um, help, help me with this because the way I'm reading the section, section 37, and I'll be advised by officers in due course, is that the prohibition of these kind of traders um, is restricted to occasions where there is obstruction to traffic, undue interference or inconvenience to persons using the street. Um, and therefore, other considerations such as children's health, dental health, quality of the ice cream, criminal behavior, antisocial actions on the part of the traders, protection of local shops, rude behavior. I'm afraid I, I, I don't see how any of that is relevant to our consideration. Um, and I'll be, I, 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 you, you may well wish to comment on that, but I'd like some um, legal advice on that as well in due course. Thank you. Uh, Councillor Lewis, I'll ask officers to respond to that in a moment. Um, if any, does any other member have a question for the deputies? Um, okay, so in that case, um, we'll, we'll move on. Okay, sure. so um, I don't, I, as, I was, as I was asking the, the deputies, and I, and, I, and I saw that Mrs. White perhaps had an answer for me. Okay. I think, Councillor, you're welcome to your opinion, and if you see it just as a limited initiative, that's fine. But it doesn't really matter, because I consider the other things are very important. And if we get the prohibition, it'll cope with all the other problems. So I'm not very worried about it. Um, I can ask officers to also respond to that question if you, if you want. So thank you, thank you very much again. Um, you're welcome to stay, but the remainder of the meeting will be I'll be taking um, comments and questions from members uh, before we come to a decision. Um, so we'll move on to. Um,